We rang in the school year by inviting our community to help us ignite learning. 27 community organizations, governmental entities, and educational partners showed their excitement about heading back into our buildings by cheering us on as we began the school year. And these organizations, plus many more, continued that commitment throughout the year, providing mentors, supplies, equipment, funds, scholarships, and more. We're grateful for their support as we continue to implement our Every Student Future Ready strategic plan. Goal three of that strategic plan, to increase certifications and college credit, led to the development of Graduation Plus, which was announced in the fall. The goal of Graduation Plus is to have the majority of our seniors graduate with a diploma plus one or more market value assets. Adding market value asset options as part of the diploma program will give our students more opportunities to be successful in their path after high school, whether that is going into the workforce or enrolling in a technical school or a four-year college or university. Another way we worked to help students be successful after high school was by hosting our first district-wide job fair. More than 350 seniors looking for full-time work were able to meet with more than 80 companies and organizations to explore career options. 15 WPS seniors were able to get work-based, hands-on learning experiences in district departments thanks to a new internship program created by our College and Career Readiness Department. For the class of 2022, Graduation Plus and other high school initiatives built on the strong foundation laid by all staff from pre-K through high school, and we couldn't be more proud of their accomplishments. This year, we had more than 2,500 graduates, and they were offered more than $59.6 million in scholarships. Congratulations, seniors, on being future ready. The work we did this year to ignite learning laid the foundation for future graduating classes as well. The Wichita Collective Impact was announced this year. This $2 million collaboration between Cargill, Greater Wichita YMCA, the WSU Public Policy and Management Center, and United Way of the Plains aims to increase educational success and workforce readiness. Their first focus is on kindergarten readiness. 12 middle schools received iPads for all students and staff as part of the Verizon Innovative Learning Initiative, which provides internet access, devices, and coaches to participating schools. The schools also earned digital citizenship certification through a partnership with Common Sense Media. In March, the Board of Education approved making Coleman an environmental magnet school beginning in the fall of 2023. An environmental magnet theme was proposed for Coleman because of some of the classes and opportunities already in place, and because it expands the opportunity for choice at the middle school level. Wichita Public Schools also continue to make investments using ESSER funds, which is federal funding that will be used to help schools address the impact of COVID, including learning loss, mental health services and supports, and resources to address schools' needs. It was a big year for fine arts in the Wichita Public Schools, where students and the community continued the celebration of 150 years of public education in Wichita with a luncheon and exhibition at Wichita Art Museum. This event honored the impact of fine arts in and around our schools. Also in honor of 150 years, students debuted We Learn in Possibility at the annual All City Honor Choir Concert. Created by local composers Miriam and Dan Overholt, the piece was commissioned by the district with help from the Education Edge. Education Edge funds also provided support for the creation of backdrops to be used by theater departments at each of our high schools. These backdrops were painted by district students with help and guidance from artist Rachel Downs, based on designs by noted set designer and Southeast grad Michael Downs. Two of our schools, West and Stuckey, are now home to new Keeper of the Plains statues painted by students. And once again, our district was named one of the best communities for music education. There was a lot to celebrate in athletics as well, with state championships, upgraded facilities, and more. Southeast celebrated the first full year in their new stadium with a ceremony before the first football game of the season. North High honored 1977 graduate and basketball legend Lynette Woodard by naming the court in their competition gym the Lynette Woodard Court. West High School's alumni came together to dedicate the Alumni Hall, which features the Athletics Hall of Fame and the J. Fred Cram Hall of Distinguished Alumni. Our eSports program expanded this year to include all WPS high schools and 18 middle schools. And we celebrated our very first eSports recruits, 
who will go on to play for Wichita State. As always, our students and staff gave back to the community this year, volunteering in our schools and throughout Wichita. We were excited to welcome back the annual United Methodist Open Door Turkey Drive following a one-year hiatus due to the pandemic. And our students and staff truly stepped up to help families in need, collecting 441 turkeys, nearly 48,000 side items, and more than $27,000. Our schools received many accolades this year as we worked to ignite learning. Eight schools received challenge awards from the Confidence in Kansas Public Education Task Force, which recognizes schools for outstanding achievement based on Kansas assessment results and other factors. Schools also received national recognition and their programs are examples for other schools across the country. Many of our staff members were recognized for their work as well. Jay Creighton II, Athletic Coordinator from East, and Cheryl Witt, History and Law Teacher at Northeast Magnet, received the Excellence in Public Service Award in the fall. And Fabian Armendaris, Operations Division Director, received the award in the spring. The awards were presented twice this school year to cover the years they weren't presented due to COVID. Zarin Olsey, Science Teacher at McLean, received the National Presidential Award for Excellence in Mathematics and Science Teaching. Matt Melgett, Principal at Earhart, was named Region 6 Principal of the Year by Magnet Schools of America. Connie Reddick, Principal at Curtis, received the Kansas Assistant Principal of the Year Award from the Kansas Principals Association for her previous work as an Assistant Principal at Southeast. And this spring, we had fun surprising eight of our teachers with the Distinguished Classroom Teacher Awards. This program honors outstanding teachers who affect the quality of education in the Wichita Public Schools. Joanna Farmer and James Quillen will represent Wichita in the competition for Kansas Teacher of the Year. We have many reasons to be WPS proud this year, and everyone in the district played an important part in helping us all ignite learning. Thank you for all that you do for the students of Wichita Public Schools.